today we are going to understand two things from scripture. So the first is to know what God instructs of how we work. The second thing that we, we will focus on is what are the rewards we can expect in the workplace. So the first one is to work as a minister of Christ. And what does the Bible teach us? The Bible teaches us that as employees of Christ, how do we work? And if the first one, it says with fear and trembling. So you're going to work, going to office, knowing that you are an employee of Christ with respect. Okay, then it says with sincerity, in sincerity of heart. So you're going to be doing things sincerely, not half-baked jobs. And the last it says is um, not with eye service as men pleasers. So what is that? It is wholeheartedly. Number two is we work with excellence. What does it mean to do your work in excellence? To do your work in excellence means to do something well, to do it in a timely manner. It is to do it much better than what you did earlier or, or what was probably expected of you. And it is to do it joyfully. How does excellence come? It doesn't come by chance. It has to be intentional. It's something that requires your deliberate effort. It requires time, it requires space, it requires thinking. So it requires that extra effort. The third one is to work as a good steward. So what do you mean by, or who is a good steward? A good steward is one who takes their resources, their abilities, and makes good use of it. So when we look at all of these principles, it's given you a clear-cut understanding instruction of how you and I need to work. So can we repeat that? What do we do? How do we work? We work as a minister in Christ. Second, we work with excellence. And third, as a good steward. Okay? Amen? All right. Now, if you've done that bit, remember, here's where the cream of your cupcake is going to come, which is the rewards that you're going to have. So one of the, the biggest attributes of God is that he is a rewarder. Do you know God loves to reward you? When you stay faithful, when you keep to his commands, when you do what he wants you to do, he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So the first what we look at is the reward of increase. It's probably in the increase of your sales. It's probably in the opportunities that you get. It's probably in the collaborations that you make or it's in the creativity that you do. But the promise is when you stick to him, he rewards. What's the second one? It is the reward of promotion. How many of y'all are waiting for a promotion? So promotion comes as a reward from the Lord. So if you have placed yourself in doing what God wants you to do in your work, it's coming right behind. It's at your heel. The third one and the last one is the reward of divine favor. And so this, the favor that God is talking about, what, what is this favor? The favor that God gives us is He gives you access to people. You know, when if you're working in a job that requires you to network with offices that are hard to crack, it says here, you will have favor with people. You will have favor. God gives you favor with new opportunities. Things can open up. Maybe resources will open up. And that's what God brings into our, into our lives as an act of his favor for us. So when we position ourselves for divine favor in our workplaces, 
you know we are also choosing to follow his instructions and walk in that mercy and truth amen